Hi, and welcome to the Chi Channel. I'm Mary Kay, and I'm here today with Gina Murray, and we're going to be talking about her dogs. Fun dogs. Yeah. So, now you also use these dogs for therapy. Yes. You take them to the hospitals? Nursing, nursing homes. homes. They also visit hospitals, um, troubled teen centers, things like that. And it's just so therapeutic what, oh, what our yeah. animals bring. Yes. Oh, I know our dogs are, 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 are sanity, I think, sometimes. They, they are. All our animals. They keep me connected and grounded. That's yeah. how I say they're my angels. Yeah. So, but besides the therapy, I believe they do some tricks. They do. They do. <laughs> it's, I don't know, in life I'm always about things sometimes are just so serious, it's just fun to have fun and let the dogs play and when we go to the centers, uh -huh. the nursing homes and things like that, it's just, it's nice, it brings a, a, makes them smile and just brings a little entertainment, so these so guys are naturals. When you take them for therapy, do you do the tricks there also then? Yep, yep. Not always all of them because we don't want to put them jumping on the people and there's certain things we do, there's not enough room, but I'm happy to show you some if you guys want to see a couple of the things the girls do. Well, sure. You guys okay. ready to do some tricks? What kind of tricks do we want to do? Okay, well, I have a whole I list. You do the tricks and I'll step out. Okay, perfect. So this is Chloe and this is Socks. And of course they're motivated by food. So what do we want to start with? We have the basic sit and sit pretty and all that, but how about Chloe come, Chloe come, Chloe come. I call this one the business shake. It was great doing business with you, and I look forward to our next venture. All dogs, good girls. So I just make creative, fun little, little twists on the basic tricks. And then we do, why don't we do, socks is a real big one with, let me get around here. Socks, you bang, socks bang, bang, socks bang. Good girl. Chloe bangs too. Bang! Chloe, bang! And now, are you shy? Are you shy? Chloe, are you shy? Good girl! Good girl! One of Sox's favorite ones is to dance. So, which dance do you want to do? You want to do the cha-cha? Uh, how about do-si-do? -si -do? Ready? Do-si-do! 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 Good girl! Chloe, she's a little more sophisticated. She's more of a waltzer. Chloe, come. Chloe, up. Can you give me a kiss to start? Okay, da 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 da. Come on, Chloe. Da 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 da. Kiss. Good toucher. And now we also well, they'll wear sunglasses. They'll balance things on their head. I could I could go on and on, but this is uh, most of the things that they do. Let me check my other list here. Oh, socks. What kind of day have you had? What kind of day? What kind of day? Rough. A rough day. You had a rough day? Rough. Yeah, good girl. Come on up. Come on up. Good girl. Good girls. And now, all dogs, come. Come on. All dogs sit. All dogs sit pretty. Sit pretty. Good girls. Good girls. And that's kind of what we do when we go to the homes. People get a kick out of that stuff. Good girls. Regina, how long does it take to train a dog to do some of these tricks? Uh, it actually it depends on the dog because Socks, the white and black one here, she's kind of a natural entertainer, I would say, and she wants to speak and do all of that. It took Chloe about six months to catch on to that one. The sitting pretty, Socks would fall over and Chloe got the balance of it right. So it's just kind of being in tune with that particular animal and just kind of going with the flow with you know, where they're at and how far you can kind of do it. And how old are each of these dogs now? They're actually from the same litter, so they're actually, they just turned five in December. So they're, they're little guys. Yeah, they're perfect size. They help chase the coyotes and they're happy dogs. They even yeah. go with all over the neighborhood. Yeah, out here in the Southwest, we do have Plenty. coyotes, we have owls, we have javelina and the list goes on. <laughs> all, all of it. So and these guys aren't afraid of anything. Chloe, even if there's a hawk up on the outside of the roof, she's out there barking and trying to get it to run and then it takes off and she runs after through the desert. Now I've noticed with our dogs, they don't really mind most of the birds, 
but the hawks. Yep. The, for some reason, I don't know if it's the cry of the hawk or because a hawk is a predator that they feel, I don't know whether they feel threatened or they don't want them around their property. It's, it's definitely that. And that's amazing because we pick up on energy, like you all know, but they are so sensitive. And even when we go in a nursing home, uh -huh. When my friends around here see them and how crazy they can play together, they get really, really tough and they can get really rowdy and obnoxious. And people look at me like, you bring them to a nursing home? But they, the second you put their, their pets on wheels, their, their bandana on and their leash and they know where they're going, it, completely different animals. You wouldn't even think they were the same. So they, they really, they know their job and they, and they like having a job. I think all animals, just get that sense of, need a sense of worth and purpose, just like us. Huh? Yeah. Do you want to show them a couple more tricks? What kind of, they balance, you want to balance something on your head and get some sunglasses? Why don't we do that? Look at you. They want to do something. Okay, I'll go get some stuff. Let me go grab a few more things and we'll finish up some tricks. So, I'm just silly. I do everything with these guys. They sometimes balance books on their heads and things like that. Today I'm gonna to use half a piece of bread, <laughs> which is even harder because it's food. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, <laughs> you see, Chloe's sometimes quick enough to catch it midair, but as you see the drool piles going here. All right, let's see what else we'll do. All dogs sit. And these are just nice for the nursing home because they're not obnoxious and running all over the room doing crazy things it's they're more quiet tricks chloe chloe sit all dogs socks loves to wear glasses yeah she's cool yeah chloe is too good girls good girls anything for food i swear i think these two you can do tricks all day long with these guys and let me see what else you guys have here Oh, I know one we haven't done in a little while. You do one more. Who's the better crawler? Let's see. Chloe, down. Chloe, Chloe, down. Chloe, down. All dogs, crawl, crawl, crawl. Good girls. I think that uh, we're always working on new, new and improved tricks, but I think that might be the, uh, the end of them right now. So hope you guys enjoyed that and we'll, uh, let you know when we have some new ones in store. Right, guys? Right? Oh, Chloe, you want to wave goodbye? Chloe, sit. Chloe, sit. Chloe, sit. Now, Sax, you're blocking. Sax, come. Come here. Sax. Sax. Sax always has to be in the middle. Sax, Chloe, wave. Chloe, wave. Chloe, wave. Chloe, wave. Bye. Girls. <laughs> They're hams. <laughs> And in the nursing homes and the hospitals, what type of response do you get from the patients? It's absolutely amazing because we also visit with the Alzheimer's mm -hmm. patients and that's kind of how I got involved was my grandma had Alzheimer's and I saw a bumper sticker, Pets on Wheels, and that's how I got involved. And it's amazing how they light up literally just even though, you know, as you know, with Alzheimer's patients, they're not really aware. but they can be just in the presence of the dogs and even just get a lick on the hand and their whole demeanor will change. And even the nurses will say, wow, that's amazing. So these animals are, are, are angels. I don't know what I would do without them and I wish that's something I could do with them every day. These guys, I mean, literally they, they do everything with me and I, I just can't imagine not having them in my life. They're, they're our kids and just like the horses. Speaking of horses, I understand you also have a trick pony. Yes, I do, who's also a rescue. These guys were rescues, so I'm all about rescuing animals. Now, I know your pony does tricks too. Did you actually train the pony? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Okay, that will be another show. <laughs> that will. We'll here, and we will go out with Earl Gray. Perfect. Not the tea, folks, the pony. No. <laughs> Uh, I think that's it for today, and thank you so much, Gina, and thank you. Oh my gosh, come thanks shake. for having Come here, Chloe, shake. shake Chloe, come shake. Chloe, shake. Chloe, shake. Good. Good girl. Sax, touch. Give her a kiss. Sax, touch. Touch. Touch.
Good girls, good yeah. girls. There, you can see though, it's motivation by food, just like men. <laughs> okay. Thank you once again for joining us today at the Chi Channel, and stop back again soon.